What's going on guys? It's been a while since the last video. Um, today I'm going to be working on a Hemi that I'm going to be eventually putting into that Dodge Dakota that I have. Um, I honestly don't even remember what the last video is, but uh, I'm basically going to do a time lapse of this just because I don't want anyone to take this as if I'm a professional. This is completely amateur, um, but I'll do the rundown quick. This is a standard bore. 5.7 Hemi, so it's a 3.917 bore. Um, I have a stroker crank, it's a 4.080 crank, uh, so that'll push it to a 393. Um, today, Sam and I are gonna be installing the pistons in the bottom end. All right, before I get into the time lapse, I wanted to show a few things on uh, what we did to the block to prep it for the stroker. Um, obviously, ground the rings and everything like that, to uh, gap them and everything. Um, but because this is a stroker and because it's such a large stroker, um, a lot of the, the smaller strokers, um, for like a six one or anything, I've heard that you don't have to clearance the block, for, but for this one we did. So you'll see in the, on the underside, basically we installed the crank and the rods two two cylinders at a time. And then we had to clearance, um, basically where the bolts of the rods are when they swing this way. Um, you'll see it clearanced everywhere. Obviously, <clears throat> we had to install things to do that. We still haven't checked to see if these clearances are correct, so we're gonna be doing that in the video today, so you might see us stop.
I didn't. It looks like the time lapse uh, cut out probably on the last two cylinders, but basically same thing as we did before. Uh, everything's torqued down besides the main caps, so we torque these to 20 foot pounds. They're supposed to be 20 foot pounds and a 90 degree because they're torqued to yield. I bought new bolts, um, so I'm going to be replacing those before I completely assemble it, but I think it's going to be just fine for now. Um, it looks like everything cleared uh, when we looked at the clearancing of the block, so we should be good there. Uh, I think that's going to be it for this video. When I go to install more parts, I'll definitely try and video those as much as I can. Um, but until then, I'll see you later.